Hi guys, this is Wife from the Lopez Garden. I just wanted to show you our Moulin Rouge, apparently. That's the name of the sunflower. Isn't that beautiful? It's dark orange. It has orange and red. I love it. This is one of my favorites. Are they supposed to be Mexican? No. I don't know where The other ones from. are the Mexicans? The well, upstairs. I wouldn't think it's Mexican if the name is Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Charlie French. So. But um, here's the other one. This is yellow. This is more common. Lemon clean. Apparently that's the name. Who knows? Something's been eating it though, as you can see. So I've found some cabbage loopers here, and funny thing, the wasps grab them and take them or drop them. And then I have to be hunting them in the floor. But um, I mean in the dirt. But um, yeah, these got quite big. As you can see, they're almost as, as tall as the tomatoes, which is really tall. It's good. It attracts bees and other nice bugs. Like no, I think that was a weird no. <laughs> I think sunflowers don't need that much fertilization because they're, by nature, they're huge plants. And like back home, they're like kind of like weedy because they always grow where no one's taking care of them. And though there's rainy season, there's also the summer, like half of June, most of July, it's really dry, even if it's hurricane season. Like if you get a hurricane, you get rain. If there's no hurricane, there's no rain. <laughs> so basically, they grow this tall and this big and they're thorny. So these thorns aren't that bad. The other ones work, yeah, really bad. But this one's growing like a lot of flowers there so we'll see but yeah I just wanted to show you before it disappears or turns or whatever how pretty that is hey.